Mr. Sir Volker. Let's get your view as to what's really the key story right now with the foreign exchanges in mind. Well, the key story is the reflation is the stabilization of the world economy. The world economy is picking up. The second quarter was a stabilization f phase, and we are looking forward to seeing a, uh, a, a second half of 2009, which will be much better than the first half in the first place. So reflation trades are on the agenda, and that means that the euro is benefiting against the U.S. dollar. And why is the euro benefiting? Because tr uh, write-offs on U.S. toxic assets won't take place as they did over the last 12 months. That means means the, the, the dollar loans don't have to be reduced, dollars don't have to be bought to reduce dollar loans, and that is a major impact. If we look back for the last 12 months, it has been an amount of roughly 460 billion US dollars that needed to be bought, and that was uh, the main driving force for the dollar strength in that period of time, and that is fizzling out, and that means that the US dollar is losing this demand, and thus the euro can improve here on that basis. But also what we figure out is that around one four. 3350 we find it difficult to have further advances and that may well have to do with first of all the fact that we have the holiday season and there is less aggressive market impact to be expected and secondly also uh, central banks that may have an interest in not having too rapid moves here at the current stage yeah Volker with, with that in mind you talk about the reflation story but on the other hand we do have all this government debt going on the market this week 115 billion dollars of Treasury notes being sold that's got to be dollar positive Yes and no. I mean, the question is always who is buying these amounts, and uh, I do uh, suppose that a lot of this will be bought by central banks, of course, and uh, I don't reckon that they will need to buy more U.S. dollars on spot markets. So in that respect, I think this impact will be rather muted. It will, won't be a ma major driving force. What I'm seeing here is that we, w we are in a range, rather. If we look at this week, 141 is a lower base, 143.50 as an upper base, and uh, I think this range... Uh, uh, will persist, th persist throughout the week. Volker, well, very quickly here, what is your trade of the day? The trade of the day to me is Euro Yen. If you look at the uh, chart, 30 minutes, 60 minutes, and the daily chart, it is all very positive and it suits to the reflation trade, it suits to the recovery story. So, Euro Yen long is uh, to me the most promising deal for today. Volker, great to see you as ever. Volker Helmay there joining us from Bremer Landesbank. Okay, we've got to take a break, but uh, coming up, we're counting you down to that European Open just about.